Hello, I'm Martin Warwick and I'm talking with Rico Schuch, who is the head of B2B wireline connectivity at Swisscom. Rico, welcome. We're in an unusual environment for an interview because we're on board a mock-up of the International Space Station. This is really what it looks like, this is what they use for training, but we're going to get down a bit closer to Earth, talk about Swisscom and technology. Um, Two years ago at Mobile World Congress, Swisscom impressed the industry with its innovative business network solutions, BNS, virtual CPE product. How's it going? It's going very well, uh, especially in the SME market. We reached over 1,000 sites already after this one and a half year in the market. And we're looking forward, we start now with the enterprise customer to come in this segment. The good news is the customer don't ask anymore about the classic MPLS service, so they see the benefit, the value out of the new technology. So like self-care, automatization and combine of different products. So I'm really looking forward to growing in this business more and more. Can you tell us something more about the SD1 market in Switzerland and how you see Swisscom's position in the market in two years, three years time? Yeah, hopefully we are still market leader. We have a big market share at the moment. Uh, we want to hold this. Uh, there hopefully we have no uh, decreasing of the market share. But uh, we see the OTT attackers come harder and harder. So we have uh, new competitors, like the big players, global players in the market, which come with uh, similar services. And I see the hardest stuff, especially for the small scale ISP, while the investment, what you have to do for really a cool experience, product, SD1, experienced product, they're really hard, you have to invest a lot of money. But uh, in general for Swisscom, we're on a good path, we are the first, we are market leader, so we are in the pole position and uh, I'm looking forward that uh, we can keep the market share and the position and it's still the revenue that will be another hard stuff. Can we move on and look at automation for a moment, Rico? How important is automation in your operations and systems for the introduction of new services such as SD1 that we were just talking about? It's the key. Automation is the key. While um, different reason. One of the main reason is to reduce the OPEX. When you look to the service provider, before we had a lot of manual task in fulfillment, assurance, and so on, onboarding processes. That's really the key. With automatization, we have the, the possibility to give a lot of features self care to the customer, and that reduce at the end our OPEX. Another one for automatization is really important for migration. The migration is really complex and uh, for that we need automatization, otherwise uh, we cannot uh, meet the customer targets on time, time to market. And the last point is the value out of automatization. With uh, new value we can create new service modeling, easier upselling and cross-selling, while it's everything self-care on and online first. So Rico, where do you see the most challenges around automation and what's your approach to best address those challenges at Swisscom? The challenge, especially for the ISP, are the legacy services. The uh, customer, we have not a greenfield, so the challenge is around how we migrate these legacy services into the new automated service model. And that's really a hard stuff, while there are a lot of different flavors, different service, manual configuration, so the automatization needs to help to convent them into the new service modeling. And the key for there is that you have a simple CFS and RFS modeling, service modeling is there a part, a lean architecture that you can reuse your developed elements again for another service migration and so on. But at the end, the migration is the hard stuff. The solution for automatization in the migration are, uh, one, are three things. One is API are your friends. The second one is uh, that you learn how to modeling the services in, a, in the new world and understand the old services. And the third one is how you convent them from the old in the new one. And there you need uh, tools and processes which uh, support you in during this migration in, in real time while the customer wants to have it during the installation automatically. Uh, these three pieces are the success factor. Swisscom has a very successful track record in partnering with vendors. What's your secret? The main secret is I feel me not anymore as a customer and supplier. We are partner that uh, we have to understand after some while. And the other secret is you have to involve the partner at early stage, as early as possible. Do together business modeling, do, do together the architecture and so on. And after the signing the contract, the partnership is not over. So then you have to go to development together and development we like more and more the agile way, agile methodology, so 
put the partner into the team, the same during operation. And my really target is for a partnership that we have a bit DevOps model with the partner and not only the ISP. Rico Shaw, thank you very much. Indeed. Thank you very much.